One of the interesting things that people here in Libreville have been uh, telling us, particularly uh, in reaction to uh, President Macron's speech uh, yesterday, is that uh, they believe now that it's up to France uh, to make uh, an effort, you know, and they say it's not necessarily because, you know, they're not pro-French, uh, but they're pro-African, and that really does illustrate the sea change that has, that has taken place here in Gabon and right across the continent, uh, because African countries no longer no longer choose France as their partner by default. Uh, They can choose uh, with whom they want to work. So, you know, you can no longer take for granted uh, the fact that French presidents will be warmly greeted uh, by uh, locals. Uh, And that's because, uh, you know, a part of that is because uh, France's image has taken a battering uh, right across the continent, particularly uh, in uh, Western Africa, in no small part uh, down to Russia too, which has been stoking uh, anti-French sentiment. We've seen over the last year in uh, Mali and Burkina Faso how, uh, you know, how, uh, how anti-French sentiment really has uh, gripped uh, those uh, countries. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, Macron is coming here uh, to Central, uh, Central Africa uh, as a president, ultimately uh, in a position of weakness. You know, uh, French companies uh, are also losing market share uh, right across the continent. And uh, one of the things, of course, that, uh, that Macron will be trying to do uh, is to reverse those trends. Andrew Hillier reporting.